Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 5000 series which is a 5559 model. This one comes with an iCore 7 processor but it is applied for any 5000 series. And in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step how to upgrade the hard drive to a SSD drive so you can actually speed up the uh, laptop. So because the mechanical drives on here they are really slow and the processor is a really good processor and the bottleneck is on the mechanical drive. So by switching the mechanical drive to a solid state drive, you can grab any solid state drive that you like. It must be a SATA 2.5 inch. I'll leave the link in the description for few. And before you start, I'm just going to give you a little tip on how you can proceed with this work. There are two ways that you can change the hard drive. And once you change the hard drive, you put the new solid state in there, you power on, if there's not going to be any you know, windows or anything, it's just going to give you that there's no media or anything on there, there's no boot drive. So what you need to do is to install, fresh install the windows in the new drive. That's option number one. I made a video how to create a USB boot drive and how to install it on the laptop. If you want to install freshly installed Windows 10. But for those people that don't want to install the Windows scratch from scratch, they want to conserve all the files, programs they installed, they have in here. So you have to buy the same size hard drive, which is 500 gigs. So you buy the 500 gig solid state drive and you will need to buy one of these adapters. I'll leave the link in the description. These are for the SATA to USB adapter. So what you're going to, what you're going to do here is to connect your a uh, new hard drive, say the hard drive or uh, solid state drive in here and you're gonna plug it into your computer, you're gonna turn it on and you're gonna go to my video description, you're gonna download the program for cloning and you're gonna, it's a simple program, you're just gonna clone your main drive to the new uh, SSD drive. Once the cloning is finished, then you can proceed watching the rest of the video and swipe the places for the hard drives and then pretty much you're going to have the same window, everything exactly in the same place, but on a faster drive. All right. That said, now what we're going to do, we're going to power off the laptop. We're going to flip it upside down. And the tool that you're going to be needing is a screwdriver set. I use this iFixit tool set, which is one of the best tools that I've been coming across. They have S2 classy steel, which means they are really tough and steel. It don't, they don't go bad. You're going to use Phillips number zero from here. And I really like this aluminum handle. It's really a good quality screwdriver. So what do you want to do down here? You can either remove the battery or leave the battery here. And this one didn't come up with a battery, so the client lost it, I guess. To remove the battery, just pull this trigger to one side and lift up the battery. But if you leave it there, nothing's going to happen. You can do it with the battery plug in. So what you want to do, you want to remove this screw and this screw right here on the service cover. So remove these two screws and put your fingernail right in here in the middle and yank this cover up. If your fingernails are really weak, use a flat screwdriver to do the job. So put the flat screwdriver down there and then yank this part up. That's the service cover. You want to switch back to Phillips number zero and now the hard drive is right over here. The hard drive is being held down by a caddy. The caddy is a bracket that holds the hard drive in place so it prevents it from moving. Before we remove the bracket we need to disconnect the hard drive from these pins right here. To disconnect it from these pins all you need to do is put your fingernail on this end of the white cover and you want to lift it up 90 degrees just like that. Once you have it in that position you can just lift up this flex cable and bring it out. And if you see this flex cable has a little uh, ear lobes on the sides, I'm going to show you guys how to put it back in because it's not just going to simply slide in. Now we're going to continue removing four screws for the caddy. So one, two, three, four. Remove these four screws. All right, once you remove the four screws, just go grab the ear lobe right here and lift up the hard drive with the caddy. This is a one terabyte Samsung drive and it comes with an adapter. You don't want to yank on this cable. All you want to do is 
grab this adapter right here and pull this adapter outward put your fingernail underneath so you want to just grab this portion of the adapter out make sure you do not pull on this cable just pull the adapter out once you got the adapter out pay attention to which side was up so this side it should be like this so that means the uh, power connector is right here and the SATA connector has to be on this side so on the SSD drive make sure you have it on the same position has to be like this so don't try to putting it down on the other side otherwise it's going to be flipped over so position it in the same place now what you need to do remove these two screws on this end two screws on the other side and put remove the hard drive all right once the caddy is looked up just grab the hard drive on the bottom and remove it remember in the same position you want to put the new drive in actually I have another hard drive here this one should be here. Okay, you want to place it right in there. And these are low profile, so you're going to have a little more space down here, which is okay. Now you want to match the screw holes and put the screws right in there. All right, once you got the screw right there, you want to grab the adapter. Make sure the adapter matches the connector right there. And it only goes in one way. Just push it all the way in. Be careful with this flex cable that fragile. So bring the lap. Uh, now, before I put this one in, I'm just gonna manage this cable right here. So to put this connector in here, make sure this uh, lock is open. So I'll put it 90 degrees up. So this air lobe has to go in in 9, 45 degree angle inside the jack first. So you don't wanna put it straight inward. You wanna bring it down in a 45 degree angle, just like a landing on a plane, all the way inside. And once it's all the way inside, you want to bring it down towards the motherboard. So the ear lock goes inside. It's very important. So it comes in from 45 degree angle and sits down flash towards the motherboard. And then you want to lock it down. And then move the hard drive in place and put the four screws for the caddy. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover. Bring it over, make sure you put the rubber side down first so in 45 degree angle and then bring it over and just push down the sides, go to other side and then press the middle wherever you put the screwdriver. And the last thing would be to put down the two screws on the bottom cover. Again, if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, please click that like button. I'll really appreciate it. And think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. And this is how you upgrade your Dell Inspiron 5000 series laptop. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.